Hi, this is David. Today we're going to talk about containers in Azure. Now, if you haven't worked with containers before, a container is just a set of applications and resources and data packaged up and deployed together so they can all communicate with each other, but by default, don't communicate with the outside world. We have to punch holes in that container to let it communicate with the outside world. These have been popular in the, the Linux world for a long time, and they're available here in Azure today. Uh, to create a container, um, we of course need a resource group. Almost anything in Azure has to go into a resource group. And um, the simplest way to create a container is to do it from a container that's inside of a registry. And I've actually found a nice one that was created by the, the, our good friends over at the Microsoft documentation team. So we're going to be using that one. It's a very simple one. It just has a, a web application uh, and a picture on a web page. So let's open up the Cloud Shell right here. And this gives us access to the Azure CLI, Azure Command Line Interface. And it doesn't, uh, it's in the context of my current Azure account because I'm already logged into the portal here. So I don't have to log into the CLI. I've already created a resource group here. It's called DG Test RG. If you don't know how to do that, then just create a resource group, type in resource group here and give it a name. And that's about it. And there's nothing in this resource group right now. It's completely empty. I'm going to add a container to that. And the command for doing that is right here. In the CLI, most of the time, the command is the word AZ followed by a, a noun and a verb. In this case, container create. So that's, a, that's how I am going to create a container. And then a bunch of arguments here. So dash dash resource group. We give it the name of the resource group in which we want to store that new container. Dash dash name says what's the name of it, and the name of that container will be DG Test Container. Dash dash image says I'm going to base it on something in a container registry. And here's the one that I found in mcr.microsoft.com slash docs slash ACI dash hello world. It's a nice simple container containing a web server and a web page and uh, just a static web page on it. And then uh, dash dash DNS label, I can give it a name by which I'll know it from the outside world. And I'll call it DG test. And dash dash ports are the ports by which I can ask, access it. So I'll press enter here and let that go for a minute. And while it's doing its thing, I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done. Okay, that took about 60 seconds. And what came back was all of this information here, displayed as JSON. It's a lot to take in, but I told you everything it did and everything it created. The main thing I want to look at is if I refresh this resource group here. Actually, if I refresh this refresh group up here, if I claim refresh, I should see there's that container right there. But I can probably find some more information. here by using the az container show command in which case i give it the name of my resource group dgtestrg the name of the container and then this query language which says what's the fully qualified domain name that i want to get and over here where it says dash dash out table that's just a format that i want to see it i don't want to see this ugly json i want to see it in a format and all I really want to know is a fully qualified domain name because there's a web app associated with this and I want to be able to browse to that web app. And there it is. dgtest.centralus.azurecontainer.io. I can copy this right here. It also says that it, its provisioning state is succeeded so everything worked. And if I copy that I can open up a new browser tab and paste right here. And there it is. This is the web application that's running inside of that container. A nice simple thing with just a picture on it. I can also look at some of the logs that are being generated by this container by running this command. AZ container logs, specify the resource group, specify the name of the container, Press enter here, and here I see some of the logs. And all it says is that I um, uh, 
it received a rev request and it returned a uh, web. So there, uh, it's just telling you there was a get request to this web application. In fact, if I hit refresh a few times here, then we should see that reflected in the logs right, uh, right back here. There's the logs again. And now we see a few more things. That's actually logging some things. So we can troubleshoot our container by looking at the logs and seeing what's going on in them. In this video, I've shown you how to use the Azure command line interface in order to create a container based on a template in an existing container registry. This is David. Thank you for watching.